Today's discussion is on VXX. Specifically, VXX is down 74% year to date. It seems like a deteriorating asset that will never work. However, I am extremely confident that it will. In this short presentation, I will describe exactly why, beginning with a description of this entity so that everyone understands exactly what it is. We'll compare it to the S&P 500. We'll define it. And then I will offer my estimates on what I believe VXX will do in the months ahead. Before I begin, let's make sure that we are all on the same page. VXX is aggressive. That means it's not for everyone. Only aggressive investors should consider an investment in VXX. To take that even further, for clients who are interested in VXX, they should only consider using a very small portion of their assets. This investment is not meant for large amounts of money. To be specific, clients who are interested in VXX should use no more than 1% of their portfolio for this investment. It is speculative and although I believe in it, it is also volatile and it does have deterioration risk. Many people believe that VXX tracks the VIX, but it does not do that exactly. They are related, but VXX tracks both the first and the second month VIX contracts. This means that they are not exactly related. You might see a quote for changes over CNBC or another media source and then look at VXX and see something that does not match at all. The reason is that VXX takes into account both the first and second month VIX contracts where the as reported VIX changes usually only reflect the first month contract. Also, because VXX invests in one entity, even though it is the first and second month contract of that entity, it is subject to deterioration risk. This is also known as rollover costs. Some also call it contango but it extends farther than that. Because this ETF and other single entity ETFs are forced to buy futures contracts or in some cases options contracts, on that single entity market makers also can find arbitrage opportunities. So there's more than just simple deterioration risk here. If market makers know investments are coming, they're going to do everything they can to get the best prices for themselves, which might turn out to mean the worst prices for single entity ETFs like this. Now that doesn't always apply to all leveraged ETFs. Index based ETFs do not have this same contango risk. But single entity ETFs like VXX do. With those warnings made, anyone who looks at a chart of VXX this year and then factors in those warnings might run for the hills when someone recommends an investment in VXX. 
Now, VXX isn't a long-term investment, but it can work extremely well sometimes. Look at what happens when we extend the chart out to two years. In the middle of last year, VXX was on that downward sloping path. It seemed to bottom a little bit, go back and forth, and then all of a sudden it spiked. VXX increased tremendously in a very short period of time. And that's because the level of fear in our market also spiked. Reasonably since then, VXX has deteriorated, but we are interestingly near a complacency period again. To take this even further, I think this period of complacency that we are in right now is very similar to the complacency seen before the last spike. And in my point of view, VXX is poised to increase aggressively again. My target price for VXX is 160. The ETF is currently trading just under 35. And for that reason, I think it warrants consideration by aggressive investors. Limit your exposure to 1%. But if I am right, the return on this investment is likely to be substantial. I'm not expecting a spike back to these highs. I'm looking for a lower high, but a level that is much higher than current levels. I think VXX is excellent for a small portion of a portfolio for aggressive investors. Lastly, anyone who decides to invest 1% in VXX must also recognize that VXX is not directly related to the action in the S&P 500 either. Many people believe that if the S&P 500 falls, VIX and therefore VXX should increase. That is simply not true because neither the VIX or VXX tracks the S&P 500. These entities instead track fear as that relates to option activity. And as this chart shows, with the red line being the S&P 500, there is no direct correlation between VXX and the S&P 500. If you're going into this investment expecting VXX to increase if the S&P 500 falls, this investment will make you frustrated. Sometimes the S&P 500 can be severely weak and VXX can fall as well. The opposite can also happen because the entities are not related. Make note of this before you make any decision to invest.